Today, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi unveiled new legislation that would allow Congress to intervene under the 25th Amendment to remove President Trump of his executive duties. This comes as Pelosi raises questions about whether he's fit to serve as president following his COVID-19 diagnosis. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil in the nation's capital tonight with more on this proposal. Joe. Yeah, and Rob, it's a little complicated. You know, Democrats have been insisting this is not about President Trump uh, and that the, it's, in fact, about the future. Now, what Democrats have said is, you know, look, uh, we're, we're actually just trying to protect the presidency uh, because Congress needs to be aware that if a president has any sort of medical issues uh, moving forward beyond President Trump, that they have to have a mechanism in place to make sure that whoever is in power... A president's fitness for office must be determined by science and facts. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi rolled out a plan establishing a commission to determine if a sitting president is healthy enough and mentally capable for the office. This is not about President Trump. He will face the judgment of the voters. But he, uh, he shows the need for us to create a process for future presidents. Democrat Jamie Raskin introduced the bill. He says the duty to establish such a commission on the president's fitness for office is clear in the 25th Amendment. Congress in the House and the Senate could direct the commission to conduct a medical exam of the president. While Pelosi and Raskin say the commission sets up a process for future presidencies, they both directly referenced President Trump. Medical professionals who say that certain medications can impair judgment. I don't know. In the age of COVID-19, uh, where a lot of government actors have been afflicted by it, uh, we need to act. White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany called the move a stunt. We think that that is absolutely unfounded and it's a stunt ahead of an election. McEnany says despite the president's recent diagnosis, he is feeling well and fit for the duties of the office. He was making great decisions, going back and forth on different issues, so it's a ridiculous assertion. President Trump also weighed in on the 25th Amendment talk this morning, going after his opponent. Joe's in no condition to be a candidate. This uh, 25th Amendment I think they put it in so they can get Kamala in replacement. Exactly. White House scholar Barbara Perry says the 25th Amendment technically calls for the commission to exist under every presidency. At least it is to start the ball rolling to indicate that they are aware of what's going on in the White House. Perry says historically the 25th Amendment has been invoked when past presidents were physically incapacitated. The speaker is probably concerned over the incumbent and his health, but also his state of mind. Perry says given the ages and medical histories of both President Trump and Joe Biden, their health is a relevant concern. So again, Democrats say it's not political. The White House obviously uh, not buying that at all. Uh, what we can say is that if this commission is actually formed, it would be made up of former lawmakers and physicians, half of whom would be chosen by Republicans, the other half by Democrats. Reporting tonight live at the White House, Joe Khalil, News Nation.